welcome everyone to another plan with me. This is the first of 2018 for me. We ended up going on a little holiday at the end of December, so it was pretty much impossible to publish anything for January. So yeah, I'm just setting up a quick title page. I was mainly inspired by pastels and thinking about the upcoming Valentine's Day holiday, but I didn't want to be overly cheesy, so I just decided to do something that kind of captured those colors without just drawing hearts all over my pages. So for this month, I'm doing a different kind of timeline. I normally do the standard bullet journal style, but I decided to do a timeline down the middle of my page and to mark events and to-dos on either side of the timeline. I felt like it gave me a good split so that if I had two things in one day, um, instead of putting them right next to each other, they could be divided by that timeline. So I really enjoy that. So far, I don't really have many plans yet, but we'll see what happens throughout the month. The next little setup I have is one of the last for the month. I'm keeping it very slim this month. I'm going to do a goals page and a highlights page. Last month, as you'll see later in the video, I did not write on any of my pages. And so I'm hoping that by having less pages this month, I'll be a lot more motivated to actually put stuff in it. Finally, I'm setting up my very first daily with my little adhesive tape. And yeah, I decided not to do a weekly dashboard for the February setup because the first falls on a Thursday and so I felt I would just give myself some time to figure out what I'm going to do for the next weekly setup. And it's time to see what it all looks like. So I actually ended up adding in a cherry blossom and I'm super proud of myself. It just turned out much better than my floral illustrations normally do. So yay! And if you didn't notice before, I added a little uh, motivational quote at the top of the second page just because I felt like it needed something else. It's always fun to add extra hand lettering. Yep, and again is my goals and highlight page that I'm pretty excited to use because last month there were just so many things that I planned to do but didn't end up doing. And so I'm looking forward to having a different kind of month this month where I actually write down my goals and really think about what I was thankful for. Finally, I just wanted to show you a little glimpse of the first notebook in my Traveler's set. And this is just an overview of my year and all the spreads that don't belong in my regular planning section are gonna go here. I'm gonna make another video about this, so don't worry about the rapid flipping. I just kinda wanted you to take a look and see you know, what my setup looks like this year. And I really hope that I am able to really dive into these journals and really use them to help me reach my goals. Also, just for fun, if you guys wanted to see my January pages, even though I was very depressed this month, it was a tough month. But I'm, you know, wanting to show you that even though these pages weren't really filled and they didn't really turn out the way I'd hoped, um, it's okay because that's all part of the process. Thanks guys. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.